guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead Patera with you today. We're in a fever. We're doing the homestead hustle right now because it's about to get dark and we're trying to make sure we have everything locked down as much as possible before this crazy weather hits. We're expecting a ton of rain. It's gonna be in the 70s next week. February, go figure, Valentine's Day. Okay, hello, everybody. Everybody say hello to Mr. Peaches. You are seen, you are loved, yes. So here is Mr. JJ back here. It's Jacques Jr. That's how he got the name JJ. And we have all of his pretty girls over here. We have our little shack over here. <laughs> we call it the love shack. We have fixed the backside, we have sealed it off. Uh, we fixed the doors and we have put a tarp on top because the rain's coming in. It doesn't really necessarily need a tarp. That's just me wanting to be a little extra precautious. So my morans are starting to lay. Yesterday we got three eggs. This morning I got three more eggs and then there are two more in there. So the girls are really happy with him. So if you can see up top there, you can't see what I'm gonna be talking about, so I'm gonna to try to zoom in on it, so I'm gonna tell you what it is first. Now, what we did is we expanded this area right here. This is a temporary thing for now. We're not gonna put any more hens in here. I'm trying to see how this acclimates, how we do here, and once we start expanding from here, we'll add another coop, we'll expand the run. There's lots of different potentials. Would you quit? <laughs> There's lots of different potentials here, okay? But I talked about this in my premium group. I do a live stream every Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday night, uh, typically on Thursdays. And I told them last week, I've done this before. We did it over on the small duck area, okay? Now this is called Bird X. There's different brands of this stuff. It's not expensive. And I really think for a small coop area, you might wanna look into this. Tractor Supply does sell this as a seasonal item. I was over in Murphy, North Carolina two weeks ago, and I went in to pick this up, and they were like, seasonal, seasonal. And I was like, okay, okay. So I ordered it on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link below. Depending on where you go and what size you get, you're talking seven, eight, nine dollars. I, I think I paid nine dollars on Amazon for this. So um, this is actually 14 by 14. You can get um, bigger sizes. And what it is actually used for is like berries and trees and whatnot to keep the birds off. Well, my goal here is to keep the birds in, number one, because see, they can jump up on that little coop. Morans are hefty birds, but any bird that gets motivated enough, if it really wants to jump out, even if you clip its wings, it's gonna get out, people. Okay, let's just have a homestead reality. So, I wanna keep the girls in, I wanted them to acclimate here, and they've done beautifully, and they're loving it. But, this is on top, so I'm gonna show it to you. My main goals with this netting is to keep my birds in and to keep crows out. Now, the first thing somebody's gonna to say to me is, sissy, they ain't gonna keep no predator out of there. I'm not claiming to keep bobcat, possums, and raccoons out. I think they'd have a tricky time. They're gonna to have to work a little bit, but my goal here is, <laughs> My goal is to keep my girls in, and I can tell you that it has worked very effectively to keep the crows out. The reason I'm talking about crows is because over in my duck area, when it was this size and I had this on there, and I'm going to do it again, by the way, the crows will come into the coop area, or the run, the duck house, I kid you not. They will go in and they will roll out the eggs. They will peck a hole in it, and they'll suck the yolk out and leave you with the shell. I'm not joking. So I tried this uh, about a year and a half ago and it lasted a good nine months. Uh, it got messed up because we expanded. I didn't have a, crow, a single crow get through this. So I just wanna let you know this is available as an option to you. This, it fitting over and with some good zip ties, we're in business. So you can see what I'm talking about here. This is actually larger than we need. So it goes over about two feet and on the other side, and we just rolled it up and zip tied it on. So you can see right in here, it's a fine mesh, okay? But you know, you're gonna get caught in it. You can see that's messing up my camera. My point is, is I honestly will tell you that I think even a hawk, if it swooped down, 
it might be able to bust through but it's gonna it, it might get caught up as well so I'm not gonna make any heavy predator claims but what I will tell you is is it's keeping my birds in it's kept my ducks and my chickens in because they can simply try to hop up there okay and then just hop out they can't do that with this netting and it keeps the crows out so for you know nine bucks you're looking at a quick easy fix we got a little bit of a catch on here and we just come on around here and you can see it's all around and you can see they're doing really well getting along great they're starting to put themselves up and getting along so guys just a little quick tip for you if you find something that's a little bit more heavy duty or if you need something a little bit more heavy duty than something like this use it okay because I'm telling you it's definitely worth the time thanks for watching y'all be good We'll see you on the next video.